Hi, my name is Rachel. Welcome to my eclectic home. I would describe my space as eclectic and maximalist. It's very cozy, mismatched, but very much well-loved. So I think it's kind of like an upgraded version of a grandmother's home. I'm a creature of comfort, so my space is filled with creature comforts. These retro and vintage objects that I've been collecting over the last decade or so don't necessarily serve like any purpose at all other than you know just display. But it makes me feel very happy when I step through my home to look at these things. It's also interesting to know that they've had some kind of history before they made it into my home. So I think they lend a sense of nostalgia to the space. And in general, I think it creates like a less cookie cutter kind of vibe. My husband and I have a collection of childhood toys from the 80s and 90s. Some of these are Ultraman and Polly Pockets. So one of the most recent gifts that I had from him was uh, during Valentine's Day. It is a 1990 Polly Pocket. So this is what it looks like. And I really wasn't expecting it at all. And it's such a sweet gesture. And then I just ugly cried. I'm a sleeper for routine and my morning usually starts off the same with my husband Daryl. He would make coffee for both of us, so it's iced for him and then hot for myself. The dining area is where we spend the most time, so we usually have breakfast and dinner here every single day. So this is where we would, you know, just talk about our day, share about what our cats have been up to and just stuff like that. Our living room was designed not so much for the humans, but more for my two cats. So because the space is a little bit more limited, we've selected a set of two armchairs so that you know it leaves just enough room for the cats to run around and have their zoomies. And sometimes when I look over, I'll see one of the cats just snoozing next to me. And I think like they really really like the boucle texture because it's so snuggly. While I enjoy the company of my husband and my cats, um, I actually value my own personal time a lot. So in this space, we have designed it so that it's multi-purpose. It houses my home office, my husband's bicycle repair center, and also most importantly, it's a space where I can, you know, just have a cozy corner to myself. I've selected an armchair that has rounded curves, so it really adds on to the cozy vibes of this space. And it's here that I, you know, read, draw my iPad, or really just zone out for a little bit. We like to think of this corner of the house as a childhood zone because it houses some of our collections that we've had ever since we were young such as this Ultraman collection that my husband has had ever since he was a kid and I also have books that I've collected as a child so when I was younger my parents used to leave us at the bookstore while they went grocery shopping and I think just being around um, the shelves packed with books was what really inspired me to create my own mini library today I think it's interesting to see how this factor spills into every aspect of our home. Um, we've collected all these toys not knowing that they would stay with us all the way till now. Similarly, I think this also applies to the intentional selection of furniture. Um, it serves as a platform for us to create new memories in the years to come.